hello guys welcome back to the tutorial tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix roblox error code 268 unexpected client behavior and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workarounds and some of the users are having this trouble so we're going to talk about the workaround so if you are for the first time to our channel then don't forget to subscribe and click on our videos so you'll be getting more notifications like this so the first step is all about you have to check the server right so to check the server i'll be giving link this uh, status.roblox.com so that as you can see this is a complete user data right now as you can see for the user as well as for the player right now all things are operational so right now for anyone is not having any kind of trouble some cases in some scenarios for the users this has to work for but player they'll be having they are undergoing through any kind of service uh, disruption or something so you have to make sure so it is actually depending on the server so that's not from our end so we have to think in that way and also parallelly we have to make sure that you're having a good internet connection as you can see i've connected to the wi-fi so i have to make sure that i'm having a good internet connection so if i'm not having good internet connection trying to play the game like these example Roblox, minecraft and all those things i'll be definitely having a lot of trouble so having a good internet connection is quite important as well as so this is the second step which you have to try out the first one as well as this particular step is just some of the basic one which you have to try out they are just a basic one and you have to make sure this is how it things works and simultaneously even after making out getting a complete idea on download speed upload speed and the internet is working good we just have to move to the next one so next one is all about we have to make sure that you're not having any kind of trouble with any kind of cheated engines like you know they are uh, uh, not working on your task manager or are having any kind of trouble and all those things so in order to do this you just have to go over here or you can directly go over here right click and navigate to task manager from here you just have to scroll down and as you can see if you scroll down a little bit like this you will be able to find some of the uh, things which is raining out or blocking the roblox for example like some cheat engines or some kind of thing so you just have to completely uh, you know what do you have to you just have to end it up so right in the same way if you go to the startup also you'll be able to find some of the things so the unwanted things you can completely disable it up so this is what you have to do right so even after trying this even if it's not still working then i suggest you to do two methods which is quite important so first one is all about you have to do in the firewall and networking protection so you just have to go over here and search for firewall and you just have to open this one from here if you navigate to over here hello an app over here as you can see these are the things which have completely set this up so now i just have to click on change settings so if i change settings i just have to navigate to roblox i have to find whether i'm able to get the roblox here so if i'm able to get the roblox i have to tick it if it's not ticked i have to tick it or else i just have to add the roblox so i just have to go for allow another app so over here you just have to go to browse and you have to add the respective so you'll be getting the roblox so you just have to add the roblox once you're done with adding the drop blocks and you just have to try to play and some cases it has to fix even if it's not working after all those things you just have to do is you just have to delete the temporary files to delete the temporary files you just have to press windows and r key all together so and you have to type percentage temp percentage go for ok and now from here you just have to select all the files that you just have to press ctrl a and you have to delete all these things once you delete all these things you just have to make sure apparently two more steps and one among them is just have to make sure that you are on the latest version of windows over here you are make to you have to make sure you're on the latest version of windows check for updates and if any kind of updates are there you just have to install the update and you have to do necessarily you have to go for the next one parallelly you also make sure that you are on the latest version of graphic driver so in order to do you just have to go in device manager now from here you just have to click over here at the top display adapters and make sure that you are on the latest version so it's automatically as you can see i'm on the latest version so there is no issue with this so these are the basic steps which you have to try out when you're having a trouble with roblox that you are getting an error code 268 and an unexpected client behavior and this is what you have to do and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out guys welcome back to the tutorial tips and in this video i'm going to talk about how to fix game is freezing and stuttering when you're trying to play on your windows